This semester we are developing a Twitch integrated mobile experience for millennials that is 19 to 29 years old. What Twitch is all about is a platform allowing gamers to share their experience with millions of people online. And it's really caught on, right? Hundreds of thousands of people are watching other people play games right now. But that's the real problem, they're just watching. And what we hope to do is to extend the interactivity of that relationship by allowing online viewers to change the gaming experience of the player. We've chosen the genre of action games, keeping in mind community engagement and also our target demographic. We've provided a variety of options that a viewer can choose in order to change the gameplay according to their choices. We made a chatbot in our game to, uh, in, to retrieve the chat message. Um, it interacts with the Twitch IRC server. It can enter a certain channel. It, it can also read from the chat and send some announcement to all the viewers. Because our client is Verizon Wireless, we had the added challenge of creating a Twitch integrated game for mobile. Twitch doesn't have official solution for the broadcaster's um, mobile device, so we used a third-party uh, mobile app called Gusher. The CMUT sat with us, talked us through what were great possibilities for game developers, what was needed, and helped us figure out uh, the platform that we were actually looking for. To prove that the decisions that we took were proper, we playtested multiple times during the semester and got a lot of feedback. We decided pretty early on in the project that we wanted to do a low-poly, Tron-inspired kind of theme uh, to go with our hack-and-slash genre. For the game, we decided that the theme was going to be a, a human protagonist placed in the midst of a post-apocalyptic city overrun by robotic spiders because the size of our uh, cell phone is uh, limited. But the UI part is seen uh, flat and transparent style, and which is popular now nowadays, and also it will not cover any part of our game. We wanted to make a game that involved the player going from a state of feeling bad to a state of feeling really good. The player is surrounded and outnumbered by many, many enemies. And only through adept use of their abilities and positioning and basic attacks can they upset the enemy horde and achieve victory. By providing such a freedom to viewers, we've managed to provide them with an experience that's not just fun to play but also fun to watch.